which I'll have to send an invoice. We've got the Metro to Casio Circo. Circo Massimo. Yeah. And we're now waiting for the bus of 118 to take us to the catacombs. When you dance down the street with a cloud at your feet, you're in love. We have arrived at the catacombs, which is heading towards the entrance now, so um, soon get our tickets and head off inside. Apparently there's like an area where there's human bones, like as part of decor, all over the walls, so that should be quite interesting. Well, here's, I'm here to explain we're at the Catacomb San Castillo. Sounds a bit Spanish, actually, doesn't it? Um, loads of skulls. We haven't seen them yet, but that's what we get to. Skulls, bones, and... It's a catacomb, so like low corridors and... Oh, low corridors, lots of dark passageways. Kind of like Black Country Museum bit, but like, good. I'm trying to throw your mind back like 2,000 years and see like what it would be like down there. I was trying to touch the walls. So the catacombs were quite interesting and this corridor was going left, right and centre so it was, would have been great to have the opportunity to explore all around but sadly we couldn't do all that. Um, we were stuck with a tour guide, um, also no filming so I had to try and get what I could really to be honest. Um, one of the main reasons why I went in there was to see the big wall of bones. And we didn't see that, did we? Wall of bones. No, so we have no was, idea. No idea whether it's here or somewhere else. But I googled it this morning and I'm sure it was here. Level three. Level three it's on level three. Maybe. We're only allowed down to level two. It's another escape the room game. <laughs> escape the catacombs. Escape the catacombs. I'll tell you what. There's a lot of corridors going off from each other. Yeah, you know, she knows where she's going, but we you easily get lost in there. Mm -hmm. Get some breadcrumbs. I love the temperature down there though. It's very cool. That's my favourite part. <laughs> <laughs> when you can, when you start walking up the stairs, you cool. back to the ground level, you can feel it getting hotter and hotter, can you? Swoops out his plums and uh, on a good rinse. We're going around just now. And everyone else is. <laughs> There's enough to go around. <laughs> Dan, fresh from giving his plums a good wash, is off to. Where are you off to? Oh, that's fine, right? Picnic. We have a picnic. Picnic. Not oh, right, just change the direction. With the plums. <laughs> These plums are jangle. Can we take a 
take a picture of you. This must have happened. We're just gonna wait for the bus now. And hey! We're waiting for the bus. That's what I'm saying. Um, should be due, I no idea when. Um, but it's a long straight road that way and that way. So we'll see it coming. We're in a little place called Italy. Uh, got a little bit lost and I have no idea where we are. Any ideas, guys? Is that a hint? Little glimpse of the interior of the Colosseum. So after the Colosseum, we headed over across the street to the Roman Forum. And you have all these beautiful ruins. And you have these beautiful old buildings. And these beautiful people. <laughs> and some more beautiful buildings. So we've just done the Colosseum and the Roman Forum. Uh, rather than go back to the hotel and then go back out again, we're gonna go straight to the ice bar to uh, obviously cool off would be great, but also have a few drinks. Are you guys ready for your first ice bar experience? Yeah. All right. First time. <laughs> We're already on the blue side. Wingsuit. Wingsuit. <laughs> Super Ryan. Oh my god. There we go.
My experience in Amsterdam was very different to this actually. I found it probably very blue. So I found that the Amsterdam one, you wore these big coats and a hood and wore gloves. We're all bare handed. Um, we're wearing these big sort of blankety things, which is kind of cool. Yeah, so the next thing is, is you also have these booths that you can kind of crowd in, which is nice and cosy. I had a chocolate and coconut vodka mix, completely neat, same as Rhino. Cheers, dude. Abby, yeah. what did you have? Um, I had a cool emotion, I think it was called. Cool emotion, what's in it? Like mixed fruit, berry, buttery, concoction. I saw the Fanta. Oh, so I said you wanted the Fanta. Yeah. Fanta with a mix. Some, yeah, some kind of Fanta with vodka. I had ice glass, which is gin and lemon. Gin. She loves the gin. Minus five, not as cold as Amsterdam, but it's, it feels, it feels like it is. We are wearing shorts after all. Why have we got no gloves? I could I could last in here a lot longer if I had gloves. You get gloves in. The gloves in Amsterdam, in Amsterdam have holes in. They're not that great. I can't believe I missed you on the Iron Throne. <laughs> I need proof. <laughs> yeah. The proof's in the video. Ryan has ordered the wrong cocktail. <laughs> What have you ordered? So what is the really potent one? You bought the same thing again? Why have you done that? I meant to say what the pina colada thing was, but I didn't say it right. And what you said was chocolate and, and coconut. Yeah, but it's not called that, is it? No, 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 no. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Form condensation. I'm um, condensed. No. Tickle. Bicycle. Whoa, steam, steam, steam. You won't be able to see me very well. But uh, we've come at the ice bar, the uh, lens is steaming up, and we're looking for some food. We may go into this Irish bar. We may not. No, no, no we're not going to the Irish bar. Thank you. Grazie. It's a good idea. I see you something. Look me in my eyes. Speciality of the day. Pasta with mixy food, chili tomato sauce, and sea bass. <laughs> no like, no pay this bit. I promise you, my God. It would appear Ryan's had half a glass already, and Abby hasn't touched hers much. Sure, but as sure, it happens, sure, sure, sure. Ryan hasn't touched this at all. Let me ask my friend, okay? Okay. Right. I know that me. Wait. And take the. Take the. Oh, uh oh. Take the microphone. What microphone? Take the glass. This. Yes. Okay. This. Perfecto. Prosecco. No. Ah, perfecto. Perfect. It's full. It's yeah. weird. <laughs> because you're a girl. The ladies have more. The ladies have more. Yes. The ladies have more. But we are paying. <laughs> no, 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 you're no. paying. I thought the boss is paying. The boss pays for I the thought people. the boss is paying. No, you just need to keep her happy. They pay. She answered. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Are they really? Yes. Take it, take it, take it, oh. take it. Yay! 
sizes. Oh, I, I don't know. Have you not noticed the different no. sizes? I don't. Oh. I don't. <laughs> Grazie. Bellissimo. <laughs> If you don't ask, you don't get. Well, to be fair, you, you never really asked, you kind of just demanded it. <laughs> well, he did it, didn't he? Cheers, Cheers. Salud. Salud. A pesar de lasagna? Oh, mamma mia. That's it. This will be special. Ooh, there's an actual fish there. It makes it extra special being here at night because it's all lit up beautifully. It's hard to really kind of get a sense of scale, but it's just such an incredible building. Knowing the history behind it, the people who fought here, died here. Honestly, it's just absolutely breathtaking. Limoncello, penis bottle. So we've just arrived at the Pantheon and we can't go in because it's shut. Are you going to say what the dome moves all about? Why it's so special? Something about it, got a hole in the middle and somehow it still stays up and it's been there for like thousands of years and they've not had to do anything really to it. We have a survivor just in Piazza Navona, uh, basically a big waterfall area and a bit of an open space area for like tutorials and things like that. So uh, now we've done this, we're going to head back to the hotel, start packing, get an early night and then head off to Sorrento tomorrow. We can basically get the 87 to 